Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use SSH. If you've got more than one computer and you want to access that computer, uh, you want to transfer files back and forth, you can use SSH. So this is my XFCE desktop. And you can see I've got plenty of files here. I want to be able to connect to this XFCE desktop from my Cinnamon desktop. So let's just have a quick look at the at uh, the terminal. You can see by using the ls command, I can view or I can do anything on in a terminal, can't I? I can remove files, delete files. I can make files. I can do lots and lots of different things with the terminal. Well, SSH allows you to do that from a remote computer. But I'm also going to show you how to transfer files using SSH. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to install some software. And to do that, we type sudo apt-get install open ssh-server. Press enter, type in your password, and it starts to install. Okay, so quite a small program which will auto start. Every time you start the computer, it'll start SSH. You can remove that using app get remove and open dash ssh. Okay, to connect to the server we need to know the IP address. Now the IP address of this computer is 192.168.1.106. Now I do suggest that you use a static IP address. There are videos for that on my site. So, back onto my Cinnamon desktop. This works on any GNOME based desktop, Ubuntu, GNOME, OK. So to connect to my other computer I type in SSH, then the name of the user, then at, and then the IP address. OK, so as I said, this is located at 106. OK, press enter. And it asks for the password. And this is the password that's on the other computer, on the XFC computer. OK, so you can see here that I'm connected to the XFCE and the command line has changed colour as well. OK, uh, the, the colour would change because I've changed the colour on this cinnamon one. OK, so anything that I want to do uh, on the on the command line will access the command line on the other computer. Okay, so we CD back out of that. If we want to get out of S, out of um, the terminal, uh, the remote connection, we type in exit. Press enter, and you can see the connection has been closed, and we've logged out, and I'm back uh, at the command line of my Cinnamon desktop. OK. How to transfer files using SS, SSH. OK. Now we could uh, go to a mount point on uh, the network. So we need to go to File, Connect to Server. In the server, we type in the, web, the IP address, 192.168.1.106. OK, the type, we need to go to SSH on the menu. And the folder we want to connect to. So the easy way to do this is to connect to your user folder. So that would be slash home slash your username. Put in your username and then the password. And then if you wanted to, you can tick remember this password. You don't have to, it'll still connect. OK, so we can turn it off or we can keep it on. Click connect 
and it'll connect to your remote computer okay so I'm just showing you how to do it on your local network okay as you can see you've got a an icon on a desktop for this uh, connection a mount point okay so this is our home on this computer and this is home on the remote computer okay so we can see that the files that are available and we can do anything with these files we can copy these files back and forth so I'm just going to copy uh, one program, uh, one file over, sorry. And we can see that's copied into our home. And we can just as easily copy to the remote. Remote home. Okay. So that's easy enough, isn't it? Oh, okay. You can see this mount point we can eject it from there okay and even with uh, when we decide to go back as we haven't exited we haven't disconnected from our remote desk uh, our remote uh, share we can just click on the on the icon and that'll reconnect us there you go as easy as that